Now let's uh, stay with uh, what is happening regarding the ANC from a political party side and uh, the, they've said they have no choice but to suspend its former president, Jacob Zuma. Political analyst Professor Peggy gomez says they were damned if they did and damned if they didn't. The ANC announced it was suspending uh, former president Jacob Zuma to protect its integrity after he backed a rival party, which is Umkonto Wesizwe. gomez says the ANC's move is realistic. It has a serious impact. In fact, uh, I think that uh, the ANC has come to the realization that right now they have nothing to lose because it's clear that uh, MK is now enjoying support across the country. And then, of course, more especially in different provinces like Wazuru Natal, Gauteng, and others where they, they've already had rallies. So they, they've now come to the realization that uh, uh, whatever we do, whatever we don't do, uh, the writing is on the wall that we have a problem. But this time around, they to decide if they don't have to act at all or if they must act. Then they decided to act because if they didn't act, then it would mean that it will be difficult for them uh, to apply Section uh, 25, especially uh, 0.60, uh, which then uh, spells out what happens if someone is found to have been in violation of the constitution of the ANC. So I think that they've been treading carefully, understandably so. But the biggest mistake that the leadership of the ANC has done was to address the issue in the media. You recall that a number of them have been uh, basically conversing for the former president, unknowingly so. Each time they were given a podium, instead of saying things they were supposed to say, they ended up talking about the former president. And in the process, they converse for him. And they've caused so much damage to the extent that uh, this decision right now no longer carries weight as much as it is in line with the constitution of the ANC.